Look at him. There he is. He did. He did. He did. <laughs> Hello to all you guys out there on YouTube land. Yes, it's me, DR, back with one video that I've been meaning to do for a very, very long time, which is the review of the Hoka One One Mac 4s. Cue intro. The Mac 4 is a neutral, lightweight daily trainer. It is very, very lightweight indeed, absolutely light as a feather. It is about eight ounces or 227 grams in the standard size eight. This is a size 11, but as you can see, it's absolutely weightless. It's fantastic. The heel drop is about five mil, so that's fairly standard for most people. I normally run in about a eight to six mil drop, so it felt nice and uh, comfortable for me. I would affectionately like to call this the Carbon X2's running buddy. So if you like the look and feel of the Carbon X2, this really does feel like the Carbon X2 without a carbon plate. That's almost my synopsis of it. So let's go around the shoe, looking at each of the key features and seeing what I pull out of this shoe and that I wanna to show to you. So tongue, separated tongue, which is nice. I love the fact it's got those tongue loops so you can keep that locked down on the front of your foot. Sometimes that tongue when it's not attached or there's no ability to loose lace the tongue via these laces, it can kind of move around. No chance of that. Really nice lockdown in the Hokers. Looking back, you've got that heel flare that's now standard for most running shoes. This heel flare keeps this away from your Achilles, stops any rubbing, which is nice. And I've had a real firm lockdown in this. This heel counter is very solid indeed. I mean, lots of cushioning inside, but a real nice feel. Looking at that midsole, you've got that Pro Flight foam. It's really nice and soft and cushiony, really bouncy. Typical Hoka stuff this is. It's just Hoka all over, but just with some weight reductions. It's fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Love the upper, the upper fits to the but some people do say it can feel a little bit snug, especially the fit. It's a little bit narrow for a Hoka. It really narrows down. When you look at that heel, it really narrows down there. So some people do say this is a bit snug and they tend to go up a half a size for them. But I went true to size and this felt nice and comfortable for me. The sole has a lovely hardened reinforced Evo foam on here to keep this. This will give you some miles in this. Doesn't feel like it's wearing out, as I said, with almost 50 miles in there. You can see a bit of wear and tear, bit of rubbing, but nothing glaringly obvious in terms of wear on the sole of this shoe. All in all, really good uh, lightweight daily trainer. I know some people have been able to pick up the paces in this. I haven't been, it's not really felt that I haven't felt that pop, but that's not what this is designed for. So you can mix up your paces. It is a real versatile shoe, but don't expect it to be something, in my opinion, that you're going to really reach for on those faster days. This really is a daily trainer for me and fits firmly in that daily trainer category. I do love grinding out the miles in it. I like taking it out on longer runs as well. I don't mind it. It's the cushioning, the foam keeps my feet, legs feeling nice and protected. I don't feel tired or sore legged after going out for a run in these. So all in all, a fantastic shoe. Really do like the Mac 4. As I said, it's that companion shoe to the Carbon X2 in my opinion. It, it feels great to go out for a run. Really highly recommend picking up. If you like to ground out the miles, you're looking for a daily trainer with a bit of versatility that's really super lightweight. Fantastically how lightweight this is. I can't, can't believe how light it feels. Then the Mac 4 might be the shoe for you. 
Anyway, thank you for watching this video. This is me, DR, saying enjoy your running out there. If you like these videos, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. So have a safe journey wherever you're heading.